Hey everybody, this is my brand new channel, Landscape Rhino, and uh, we're going to show you how to become a um, high-tech landscape architect. So what you see here is the uh, a mesh surface of the, uh, of the island of Manhattan, um, and we got this data from a digital elevation model or DEM file. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, download, where to download DEM files, um, how to process them in your GIS software and bring in a point cloud into Rhino and convert that point cloud into a mesh surface. So what I typed in here in Google is USGS DEM data. And the first thing that popped up was the elevation data thing. So uh, I don't know if it's going to be the, the case in the future, but I'll try to keep the links updated in, uh, below the YouTube video here. So uh, you get to here, you get some description of uh, what you can what you can do, and then um, you're going to click this guy. So you have a bunch of data options. Um, I would recommend checking out the map too if you just want to make a quick sketch. If you want to make a 3D terrain, you know, get go to your site, in our case Manhattan, and let's get some data from these guys. So we're going to click Elevation Products, one third arc second DEM. Let's check it out what they got here. So they, they gave us some information. We're gonna see what footprint. Ah, of course, you know. Of course, you can slice Manhattan right along, right in the middle. Like, I mean, who sets up a who sets up a grid like this? You know. Anyway, let's check out the thumbnail. That looks pretty good. Let's check out this thumbnail. That looks pretty good. So we're gonna download these b both. Bing. Bing. and that that should set us up so we can import these right away into our um, GIS software another way if you search for uh, DEM New York City you can get New York City open data uh, source and you can find um, a one foot digital elevation model so what does that mean um, I my best guess is that it's one by one grid um, and then and then I was looking forever for the download link here but it's really stupid they just call it zip so just click on that zip guy okay so once we've downloaded that data and unzipped the file uh, you should have this kind of um, uh, four different file types um, the TIFF file is probably gonna be your um, DEM uh, image but I'm just going to select all of them and I'm using QGIS, which is a free software. You can download that um, from QGIS.com, I guess, or .org, or I forget which one. But in any case, it's totally free and it'll allow you to uh, do every step of this process. Um, so I selected my four files here and I'm just going to drag them into the, onto the canvas here. Just wanted to show you real quick uh, a method to um, uh, visualize this a little bit, bit better because now we can't see what we're doing here. So I clicked on properties and I should have a, um, instead of a single band, I'm just going to do the single band pseudo color go from because what zero is going to be the water line um, do something like this here okay let's check it out and uh, I'm gonna do the water in in white just so we don't get any um, just so we don't see it okay let's take a look there we go here's Manhattan now in the next steps we're gonna crop out Manhattan and we're gonna create um, we're going to extract the data points for that file and bring that into Rhino. Thanks for watching and um, if you want to learn more about becoming a digital landscape architect, please subscribe to my channel Landscape Rhino. And thank you very much.